Hi, I'm Dave Stewart. I'm an engineering manager at Intel Corporation, part of our Open Source Technology Center. We're working on optimizing OpenSolaris to make Xeon the best platform uh, for the data center in using OpenSolaris and Solaris. And uh, one of the areas that data centers really have to spend a lot of time and effort on is when, uh, well, you, you know, when things go badly in terms of when hardware fails. I mean, we, we don't like to think about that. The reality is a lot of the cost that goes into the data center is chasing down problems that happen in, in, a, in a component someplace. Now, I understand what this is about. My last job, uh, part of what we were doing had a lab that had about 20 different servers in it and had literally a thousand disk drives. Now, I got to tell you, the amount of effort that, uh, and cost and people time that we had to put in to just chasing down when uh, uh, a component failed and, and trying to even find it uh, and then to replace it and all the rest of that took up a considerable amount of, of actual people resource engineer time to do that. So I really understand what this is about and, and trying to improve this is, is actually a very uh, a crucial area and one of the areas that we're excited about Open Solaris is it has a predictive self-healing feature and this is something that they do through their fault management architecture. So this has been very interesting to us to try to uh, work with this feature and really make Xeon the best platform to make use of these features within the fault management architecture. So I'd like to tell you a few things about what we're doing and so you get a, a flavor for it. One of the things, and again, this is in the overall area of RAS or reliability, availability, and serviceability. And so uh, again, if you can kind of think of trying to reduce costs by improving the RAS area, that's, that's pretty much what this FMA work is about. And part of what we're doing is to actually extend FMA so that it will support the Xeon family of, of processors. And so uh, all the different processor uh, and uh, platform components, uh, things that uh, could have uh, an issue with them, really uh, uh, teaching the FMA system about it. Um, we're also doing work in the area of injecting faults. Now, you might think, well, why do you need to eject faults? Well, it, the, if you have fault management software, you'd like to have some confidence that it actually will find the problem if it really happens. So one of the things we can actually do is in the lab, inject failures uh, from the chipset level so that actually we can see and make sure that the FMA code is working correctly. That's very powerful and really increases everybody's confidence level that we're working properly in these cases. Um, the other area that is, is very interesting, I think, is in the whole area of working on uh, memory uh, failures. If you think about uh, common server systems, it has typically they have a lot of memory to be able to perform well in a server environment. So you might have a system that you know, has, uh, you know, eight, 16 DIMMs uh, in, in uh, you know, DIMM slots. And think about it, if you have a, one of these DIMMs that fails, a lot of times the indication that you get is that you, you had a failure someplace, and then tracking it down as to the specific component that failed can be a very time-consuming process through diagnostics or through uh, trial and error. Uh, so that's very costly to do. Well, in fact, the extension that we've done to FMA will, in fact, give you the exact memory location, the actual location, not only just the, the address, the actual DIM that failed. And this is very powerful because you can tell immediately the exact component that is failing, replace it, get back up and running very quickly. So that's an extremely powerful capability that we've added. Um, there are other capabilities that um, in the next generation in our Nehalem family of processors, more uh, extensions in the area of the, uh, the whole area of machine checks and really being able to um, have the system more reliable even and, and have FMA take advantage of those things. That's a very powerful thing. And, We'd like to get your involvement and your participation with us in this. Uh, we've done this uh, in a couple of areas, certainly joining opensolaris.org. Go to opensolaris.org, join, and uh, if you haven't tried out OpenSolaris, download it, give it a try, give us some feedback on it, what your experience is. We have an Intel platform project that's uh, a, uh, a place where we collect all of our optimizations for OpenSolaris. And that there's a fault management community that you can join as well that includes several projects, uh, including the work that we're doing for Intel. So I think it's, it's a, a great opportunity for you to get involved with this because it is open source. We can as a community work together to make this better, to reduce people's costs. So we spend less time chasing around uh, failures and instead 
we're really focused on how we can uh, improve uh, what we're doing in the whole data center area. So I'm very excited about this. I hope you'll join and help make this better.